Hey everybody. Gonna do a little riding as you can see from the uh, from the title of the video. We're gonna have a little experiment. It seems to be a uh, seems to be a uh, pretty uh, big curiosity of people whenever they're looking at buying these bikes is how fast will they go so I've done I think you know a handful of modifications that a lot of people you know it seems like are you know gaining some traction um, as far as like the airbox mod the fuel controller I didn't exhaust um, now my exhaust currently has the uh, currently has the like quiet insert and this fella right here doesn't realize that he can pull up and that's quite okay because I'm going to show him that you can um, you know and I've got the quiet insert in my exhaust so it's I mean it's not a full exhaust there's the header pipe still factory but it's a stock exhaust other than that right so anyway it's a uh, you know, it's pretty popular amount of modifications that are done to the bike, and um, you know, a big question is, uh, you know, how fast will it go? And so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can hit triple digits. I've not tried this yet after I did everything, so it'll be, it'll be quite interesting to see. Nothing like admitting, um, you know, on YouTube that uh, you do nefarious acts of joy <clears throat> but before we get to uh, the highway on 316 or no no sorry I said that wrong before we get to the highway in Mexico we're uh, we're gonna go see that power line that I just was on the other day and take a gander I think they cut it from what I heard so we're gonna see and maybe go ride down a little bit so we'll do the uh, we'll do the top speed run here in just a minute. In the meantime, let's go over and take a gander. Just got through eating some delicious pizza. There's a little pizza joint here in my city that they uh, it's gone through several different you know situations where like the previous owner like tried to sell it he bought it from the guy who was buying it from him and then he tried to rebrand and do all this different stuff and it was just you know they had a poor relationship with our our city and didn't do too well and uh the new owners bought the name and all that other good stuff they have their reopening tonight and it's interesting it's crazy i mean I, I would assume that you know they get their food from most restaurants around here get their stuff from PFG, which is Performance Food Group. And uh, you would think it all would be the same, but it's, I don't know if it's preparation, because I'm not in the restaurant business, so I don't know. But if it's from preparation, or how long they have it, or how much they rotate, that field is cut, y'all. Woohoo! I can say, hey, it's cut. So uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna do the right thing go adventure. It'd be funny if we ran into a police officer up here. There's trucks. Huh. I don't guess we're, uh, oh, they're over there bailing. Oh, man, that's just cool. So I'm not gonna go ride. You know. I, uh, would usually go do it because I'm not gonna go tip her over trying to escape from doing the various activities of joy anyway so uh, had some pizza delicious now I'm off to uh, going to do a little test so I'm gonna go this way and then See if we can get over to doing a uh, 
speed test, but it makes sense that while they're out there, I don't think I've seen them out there recently, but if it's about to rain, you have all the hay, it's probably good to get it while it's dry. So, um, I'm gonna go see where we can do this, but I've got the main modifications done. It's added a little bit of power. You can feel it. At least the old Tush Dino can feel it. You know, I've not had time to take it to go get a, a Dino. Um, I had an appointment to go and do it. The week is 4th of July. Had a lot of obligations. Wasn't able to make that obligation. So, didn't get to. But, uh, we'll see. It'll be, it'll, it'll be soon. Maybe there's a, there's a guy up in, oh, hey, my goodness. Back it out. Uh, um, there's a gentleman up in, uh, northwest Georgia who's got a dyno also. He's a suspension expert, GMD Compu track. Got some, uh, friends that go up there and get their stuff done. So, why do you turn so... You know, instead of going, he went. Anyway, um, I'm gonna see where I can get a good spot. The way the hills are and everything on this uh, this road over here in Mexico, it's gonna be difficult. So um, I'm gonna be back. I gotta go back home, put this thing on the trailer, take it from Georgia to Mexico, go find a nice strip of road, and let's see if we can hit not two but three digits on the old number thing here. So, so I found us a good little spot of a road if we can catch a break in the good old country of Mexico. So we're going to let traffic go. We've got us a nice little spot of land right here in Mexico. And uh, I'm going to give her a little uh, Rochambeau. See if we can get her to 100. <clears throat> so there is a slight grade. But I need as much help as I possibly can get way 280. Without gear. With gear, I'm probably 310. We hit fifth gear. Sixth gear doesn't exist. 95, 96, 97. Come on, baby. Let's go. Push it. that high that's hilarious oh my gosh it's like watching paint dry it's like watching water boil it takes forever but it eventually does it <laughs> oh me that's hilarious i don't know why it's so fun riding a slow bike fast but it is it is it's strangely satisfying i'll take it i'll take it you know it's like doing a top speed run on a <laughs> like on the grom you get hooked behind one of the tractor trailers and that little that little wind tunnel it's got back there so you've got no resistance that little engine is like wah, bah, 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 bah. <sighs> so like that mustang i'm sure somebody that weighs way less than i do could probably do way better even with nothing on i'm just a big old kite there's a lot of weight on this bike right now this poor thing but you saw it we hit one zero two although for a brief moment it still hit 102 indicated i don't know what that is in kawasaki terms but hey it read it 
we hit triple digits. I think, I think, I think that's worth something. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I appreciate these streets in Mexico. These things are great. Anyway, guys, I hope you found the video entertaining. And if you didn't, well, at least you got to, <laughs> you got to do something with me. And Oh, that probably should never be done. I don't know what he was pointing at. He was doing something, but <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys adventuring with me. Stay safe. Happy adventuring. I'm out.